Now, the Singapore Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or SCCCI, estimates that small and medium-sized enterprises have suffered losses of some 10 to 30 percent due to the haze. It's collating feedback from businesses to understand the extent of the issue and will seek help from the government. This farm at Kranji has had at least 80% of its outdoor events, such as farm tours, cancelled. The farm's owner said it will be forced to retrench some employees if the situation persists. $3,000 a day would be like break even for us, you know. Uh, uh, we're not even hitting that. For example, one of the days we only did $200. Uh, so the bulk of our cost is in staffing costs. If it continues at this rate, then the first people I'll have to lay off would be my Singaporeans. Adventure Paddlers, a water sports company, said that over 60 people have cancelled their bookings over the past two weeks. This has resulted in a 60% dip in revenue. SCCCI said the Hazes' impact on businesses is significant and needs to be addressed by the government. SCCCI has also drafted two letters to their counterparts in Malaysia and Indonesia to urge them to relay the plight of businesses in their countries to their respective governments. Separately, the Indonesian Chamber of Commerce and Industry and the Singapore Business Federation have issued a joint statement. They said organizations in Southeast Asia have lost millions of dollars due to the haze. They urged businesses involved in agriculture in Indonesia to ensure that they are not contributing to forest fires and to embrace sustainable practices.